so now we are going to capture the hash and crack that hash to get the desirable password of a particular user i mean that user is that user will going to be this my tiny 11 machine this user box so let's set up our responder but before that we will have to enable the http as well as smb server so this is how we can do it pretty quickly so as you can see we have to set this http parameter as well as smb parameter to on and then we have to save it and let's start our responder i'm running the responder on my ets0 interface uh, in your case it will be double line zero and in or else you might be having any other interface you can use that as well so let's start okay so as you can see uh smb server is turned to on and my http options of your off http server is also on now uh let's suppose that a user in a domain joined network what he will gonna do he will gonna access any of the resources which is not present in a network or else mistakenly he uh, entered some resource name which is somewhat relatable to the domain controller but exactly it is not same so basically he does any uh, some sort of mistake while accessing the resources so in that case what will gonna happen now since we have enabled the responder in our kali machine so whatever the ntlm has is uh we will get all of them in a kali so this is how it will gonna go so suppose i am accessing my dc machine but instead of writing this keyword dc i am making some small change such as uh, i'm gonna go ahead and type dc dd double d just for the record and once i hit enter as we can see that we have been granted with the user's hash so what we will gonna do next all we have to do is we have to capture it just like this we have to copy paste it in a so i'm gonna use my max terminal and vim ntlm hash dot txt i'm gonna paste it over here real quick and now we have to crack it so one thing which is important to note over here is that since we got the ntlm hash uh, we have to crack it and we will gonna use rocky.txt password word list now here is the catch if my password is not available in the rocky.txt word list then it will gonna take a lot of time for me to crack the hash so let me quickly do it and i'm gonna use the tool known as hashcat to crack the hash so this is how we do it let me first check what are the ntlm options available uh hash cat my bad okay so we have this many options and we need this net ntlm version 2 so hashcat hyphen mode by 600 then I'll have to provide my NTLM hash and then my word list. Tools word list rocket.txt. And here we go. Let's see how long it will gonna take. And just for the record, I have already uh used such password which is already available in my rocky.txt if not for the demonstration purpose we can add it up add it in that word list so here as you can see uh, we have got the box username and the password for that box username is box at the rate one two three all right so this is how we capture the ntlm hash and crack it